Okay, so is it working? Is it on video? Yes, okay, good. Now, I just wanna go back and look at question uh, exercise two, just for a second. Okay, somebody pointed something out to me. When we did exercise two, it says Katie, a 30 kilogram child climbs a tree to rescue her cat who was afraid to jump eight meters to the ground. How much work does Katie do in order to reach the cat? She wants to reach it. Okay, so it's gonna be 300, which would be her weight, right? Times eight meters. I, I put 16 meters, gotta go up and down, and then somebody else pointed out that it would be no work at all, blah, blah, blah. But it does say quite clearly in order to reach the cat. So it would be 2,400 meters. Okay, just a little bit of a correction there. Clear? Because it does clearly say to reach the cat. Understood? Okay. So just wanted to say that. Okay. Yeah. There are two formulas that are given for this section. We're doing potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy equals MGH mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the height. Is that correct? And then the kinetic energy, which is one half mv squared. One half times the mass times the velocity squared. Clear? Okay. We open up with exercise five. Exercise five is it is said, it is said that Galileo dropped objects off the Leaning Tower of Pisa to determine whether heavy or light objects fall faster. If Galileo had dropped a five kilogram cannonball to the ground from a height of 12 meters, what would have been the change in kinetic energy? Okay, so let's write down the data. The mass of the cannonball is five kilograms. We're gonna say that G, just for purposes to make an easy calculation, we're gonna call it 10. And we're gonna say that the height is 12 meters. Okay, so what would be the change in potential energy? So, here's the top of the Tower of Pisa, which is in Pisa, Italy. It's a tower, a round tower, that leans, really quite amazing. I've never seen it, I've never been there, but I've seen pictures, you can look it up, and it leans remarkably to one side. All right, so, it's 12 meters high, it's 10 is the acceleration due to gravity, and it's 5. So the PE, the change in the PE, will equal, it falls, it's 5 kilograms. As long as everything is in kilograms, meters, and seconds are fine. Okay? Meters, meters, seconds, you're okay. Then you can just multiply. Okay. This is kind of a little bit of a shorthand that you can use when you calculate 10 and then times 12. Okay, so what is 5 times 10 times 12? What is it? 600. 600, right? Yeah, 600. We well, you know 5 times 12 is 60 times 10 would be 600. So the change in potential energy would equal 600 joules. OK? 
Okay. Clear? All right. Yes? You okay with that? That's all.